the All Black squad for the 2022 Steinlager series against Ireland in alphabetical order is as follows. Bowden Barrett, Blues and Taranaki. Geordie Barrett, Hurricanes and Taranaki. Scott Barrett, Crusaders and Taranaki. George Bauer, Crusaders and Otago. Sam Kane, Chiefs and Bay of Plenty, All Black Captain. Finlay Christie, Blues and Tasman. Caleb Clark, Blues and Auckland. Dane Coles, Hurricanes and Wellington. Lester Whaingānuku, Crusaders and Tasman. Falao Whakatawa, Highlanders and Hawke's Bay. Jack Goodhue, Crusaders and Northland. David Havili, Crusaders and Tasman. Akira Ioane, Blues and Auckland. Rico Ioane, Blues and Auckland. Will Jordan, Crusaders and Tasman. Nipo Laulala, Blues and Counties Manuko, Josh Lord, Chiefs and Taranaki, Richie Monga, Crusaders and Canterbury, Dalton Papali'i, Blues and Counties Manuko, Stephen Perofeta, Blues and Taranaki, Sevu Rees, Crusaders and Tasman, Brody Retallick, Chiefs and Hawke's Bay, Aidan Ross, Chiefs and Bay of Plenty, Adi Savia, Hurricanes and Wellington, Aaron Smith, Highlanders and Manawatu, Hoskin Sotutu, Blues and Counties Manuko, Peter Gus Sowakula, Chiefs and Taranaki, Angus Ta'aval, Chiefs and Auckland, Samasoni Tokeaho, Chiefs and Waikato, Cody Taylor, Crusaders and Canterbury, Carl Tui Nukuafe, Blues and North Harbour, Roger Tuavasa Sheik, Blues and Auckland, Quinn Tupaya, Chiefs and Waikato, Ofa Tunga Fasi, Blues and Northland, Tupo Vai, Chiefs and Taranaki, and Samuel Whitelock, Crusaders and Canterbury. Ngā mihi nui ki a koutou katoa, he mihi whakahirehire ki ngā kaitākoro hau ko eke ki te taumata i tēnei rā. Congratulations to all those selected, especially the six new caps. Kia ora. Thank you, Bailey. And wow, what a squad, judging by the nods around the room uh, and the cheers and celebrations. The coaches and selectors have obviously got it right. So once again, congratulations to each and every player that was selected in the All Blacks first squad for 2022 and to the debutants as well. Welcome to the club. Well, for those joining us on the stream, we'll have a full breakdown of the squad. We'll hear from the players, the coaches, and the selectors as well. But for those of you here today, uh, Kai is served at the back, so do help yourself, mix and mingle, and enjoy the day. Joins me, Jeff Wilson, and you look about the selections, the number of new players going into this All Black squad. Any surprises for you, your initial reactions? Oh, it's a pretty good squad. I think Chris should be fairly happy with that, obviously. Uh, the, the, the new names, Peter Gus Sawakolo there, Aidan Ross. Um, so obviously get an opportunity there to get, uh, you know, put on that All Black jersey. Yeah, I mean, you think about the players who have stepped up in Super Rugby, you think about the experience they've brought in, the naming of Dane Coles, the fact that uh, Sam Kane has retained his uh, role as All Black captain. Yep. You look at this group and the way of the growth, Peter Gusso Akula, great to see him get reward for a great season. Yeah, it has, and he's had an outstanding uh, season, hasn't he? So, nice to see him rewarded. Also, great to see them, you know, um, you know with the likes of you know, Sam Kane, um, but, you know, taking on that, that captaincy as well. So, Dane Coles, obviously a little bit of um, you know with, with injuries and not, but also for the coaches it gives them peace of mind. They've got 
plenty of leadership, uh, you, know, you know, guys out there to, to, to back up their captain. Well, let's have a look now at the backs as well, the performances of them through the course of Super Rugby Pass Civic, giving them the opportunity, and you think about the backs, and you think about the areas that were always going to be difficult. Halfback, one of those. Falau Fakatava sees his opportunity, remembering he's got to get on the park just yet, but he's had such a fantastic campaign for the Highlanders. Stephen Perafeta, one of the new faces we heard in the crowd. Roger Tuavasa Shek is one step closer to pulling on an all-black jersey. And Lester Fyanganuku as well, named in the outside backs. It's great now for Ian Foster to join us, Fozzie. And look, you get to name your first all-black squad of 2022. Remembering, though, this isn't the only squad. Was this team particular, in particular selected to take on the challenge of Ireland? Yeah, thanks, you too. Um, a very exciting day for us. You know, a lot of hard work going in. And, you know, clearly, you know, it's time like a series about taking it on. Um, probably the biggest series I think we've had in this country since, you know, from the line series. So we're, we're incredibly excited, and I think you'll sort of feel a bit of... Uh, there's a bit of newness in this squad. Like, we've, we've got six new boys who I think... We've, have uh, really played their way in, but there's also a bit of pragmatism with a couple of the selections about making sure that we've got the equipment we need to play well against all. It's a good-looking squad, Fozzy. I mean, um, obviously a lot of hard work has gone Thanks, into mate. it. <laughs> but you know, some what, what were the hard decisions that you had to make? I mean, you know, for us sitting here, I'd say halfback would have been one that you would have sort of debated over and over. Yeah, look, I think we'd flagged early that we were spending a lot of time, particularly in the front row, on, on, on nines and, and probably the midfield. And, um, and some of those hard decisions are still to come, aren't they? You know, when breaking this down into the into the 23. But you know, nines particularly. You know, there's been a couple of um, you know good names, particularly TJ and Brad, that, that, have, that have missed out. We've but we've had five nines playing really well, and and so narrowing that down. But we just feel that you know with Falau and, and Finlay, they they offer something a little bit different, and it's a chance to see how we can. In terms of the squad itself, do you feel as all of them, the whole 36, are test match ready? Or some of them there, the fact you just want to get your eyes in your environment to get a feel where they're at? Yeah, there's a little bit of that, Goldie, but really, you know, there's a, there's a couple of people who missed out because we just, who, who we felt that probably weren't battle-hardened enough for this series. Um, and there's a couple of positions that we've been able to bring people in from to, to, to do exactly what you've just said. So, for example, Roger would certainly fit into that mix. We've been delighted with his progress, particularly the last four or five weeks. Um, so, chance to get him, have a look at him. And, and it, so, whilst he's earned his, his spot there, we've got a lot to learn from him now. Fozzie, I want to talk about those positions, and in particular, Roger as well, and someone else that we've been debating over the last couple of weeks and it's Geordie yeah, Barrett yeah, I'm glad, <laughs> you're, I'm glad we've you're been heard. debating it we've I'm, been I'm, debating it but have you been debating it <laughs> so yeah, is, he, is he a 12 going possibly playing 15 or the other way around or uh, have you got enough firepower there to say well let's just give him a bit of, a bit of space yeah look I, um, I think I said early on that we, we still saw him as a 15 and um, who can play in the midfield and so we, we, were, in, we were interested by Sanders watching him play 12 uh, and we liked a lot of what he saw, well, a lot of what he did in that space. But, you know, primarily for us, he, he's an outstanding fullback. We think he plays well in that space. Um, and, and we've got some other midfield options. But what it does do is it maybe changes the way we select our 23. A sense of relief, just quickly. A sense of relief now to get that out of the way, to get it done. Because I know there's a lot of long hours that go into selecting a side. Yeah. <laughs> I knew yeah. you'd say that. I knew it would be a short answer. Yeah. Look, congratulations on putting this first team together. We're looking forward to seeing this team in action as well done once again. Thanks very much. All right, let's go back to Kirsty. Oh, yeah. He's not the only selector. We've got a number here today. John Plumtree, the forwards coach, standing by with Kirsty. Thanks very much, Jeff. Yes, we are standing by That's with our like forwards it. coach, John Plumtree. First and foremost, worried. John, what excites you the most about this squad you've named today? Oh, I think it's a great squad. It's a, there's a mixture of power there, speed, skill. You know, the, um, you know, all those boys have played well this year, um, so they deserve to be there. Obviously, there's some unlucky ones as, as usual in this, you know, any squad that you pick. Uh, really happy with the pack. Um, you know, a mixture of experience and some couple of new boys there too to, uh, you know, to excite us. So we're looking forward to it. Well, let's talk about a couple of those new boys. We'll start off with Aidan Ross. What have you seen from him? Oh, I think, you know, Aidan's sort of been on the radar the last couple of years. Um, but this year, we've just seen him perform consistently well. I think um, uh, scrummed very well consistently. 
Uh, I've been watching them like a hawk really the whole year and um, you know, nice and mobile around the park. Um, yeah, he deserves his, uh, his chance. Peter Garsawakula is a name that has been going around the Super Rugby circles for the last couple of years and he gets his chance today. Uh, he must be it's very exciting. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah, excited to work with him. Um, you know, he's, uh, again, performed consistently this year. Um, Sam Kane was telling me a couple of changes in his life with a new little baby, and I guess that's brought a bit of an extra focus for him in his professional footy career. And he's an experienced um, campaigner at super rugby level. Um, just love the, the mix of his power, skill, um, what he could bring to this uh, all black pack and team. Uh, the style that you want to play? Oh, look, we're always going to want to play fast. We always want to be skillful. Um, but, of course, we have to do the grunt work, you know. And um, we just believe now with the experience that we've got and the loose forwards that we've got and the boys up front um, that we've got a group that we can play a model facets of game. But um, I guess, um, you know, there's, a, there's plenty of pride and history in that all-back forward pack. And, and it's up to us over the next two or three weeks to get ready for a massive series against Ireland. It is a massive series, you're right about that. Uh, was, we always say that the tough work was picking the squad, but does the tough work actually start now? Yeah, it's sort of, uh, I guess as a selector, there's a little bit of a relief that that's behind us now and we can really start focusing on what we need to do. Uh, obviously, there's been a lot of work behind the scenes going on in the last you know, four or five weeks um, and getting ready. But um, yeah, now we can knuckle down, look forward to a camp this week with um, the, the non-finalists, just the two boys, and, um, and then get stuck in next week. Well, John, thank you so much for your time and congratulations. We know it wouldn't have been easy. We can't wait to see you in action against Ireland and we'll go back to Jeff and Mills standing by with our skipper of the All Blacks. Thanks very much, Kirsty. Look, Sam, you never take these moments for granted, right? I mean, it's always a privilege and an honour to get named an All Black once again. How does it feel to be named the All Black captain for another season? Yeah, you're right. You never take it for granted because there's just so many good players out there. Um, yeah, Fozzie, I was lucky a little bit of a heads up rang me on, on Saturday. Um, and when asked um, if, I, if I was willing to be captain again and, and so obviously that's just a massive honour as well um, but yeah never take it for granted and, and also just so cool to hear the, the new boys get named too um, be massively exciting for them and their families right now So we want to talk about your, your personal performance first and foremost before we move on to the new guys it's been a frustrating last couple of years with injuries and stuff with yourself and obviously getting back into the groove of things what does Sam Kane need to do now as the All Black captain and refocus in terms of in terms of your game to, to make sure you're right on top of it? Yeah, you're right. It has, it has been um, a, a wee bit frustrating at times. Um, but I think it's just about like, picking yourself back up again and, and controlling what you can control. Like get out there and try and play the best footy you can. So, and that'll be exactly the same going forward. Despite um, being named captain, I just have to um, you know go out there and play the best I can, train the best I can, and lead by example in that way yeah. um, I mean, yeah. but no one said to pick themselves up as much as you have right no, I mean bottom line you think about some of the things you've had to overcome the, the operations the, the frustrations let's talk about this season though the, the appetite you have for taking on Ireland because I suppose the hype around this a hype around this series given what's happened in recent yeah. history has that been a motivator already given what happened last year for you and do you think this group the moment you get together yeah without a doubt um you, you, you go away to Super Rugby and you, you focus on your Super Rugby team, but everyone who was involved um, in that game last year, yeah. and, and then I think once we reassemble now as a team again, that that'll um, and knowing that we're playing the Irish, will sort of resurface all that, and um, there'll be real hunger and drive. It's going to be a massive series. Sammy, how much collaboration? I mean, you've got some great leaders in there as well, heavy uh, experienced guys as well. How much collaboration have you had with your leadership group in terms of before this sort of uh, this test series? Yeah, so um, like a lot of people, we've had a few Zooms, um, <laughs> yep. Zooms and everything, but you can't beat um, getting together in person, and we had a, a get-together um, maybe three weeks ago nice. down in Wellington. Um, a little bit of planning, a little bit of um, what's coming. Um, and, yeah, I think there's going to be a, a camp this week for anyone who's not involved in that Super Rugby final, which turns out as, as majority of the squad. <laughs> yeah. But let's talk about that, though, the fact that this back end of this competition with, with the playoffs, the quarterfinals, the semifinals, do you feel as though having another final like this, majority of the players are in those two squads. How important and critical will those games be and have they been as you prepare for Ireland? No warm-up game, you need to hit the ground running. Do you think it's been handy, the fact we've had some seriously tough local derbies? Yeah, without a doubt. Like, any time you're playing tough footy, it's just, it's just going to sort of battle hard in you and, and get you ready for what's to come, even though we know what like, Test Match Rugby will probably be 
uh, another step up, or it's a different beast be it's, um, because of the opposition. You know, we've seen when we play the Aussies, it's a different style. You play teams that have a different style and yeah. it presents different challenges. So, uh, yeah, it'll be massive. But it, it's those boys, you know, they'll only have had, um, you know, two weeks between games. Other boys will be a bit longer, so everyone's in, will be a slightly different boat. But I'm sure they'll be, they'll come through pretty well. Just lastly, great vibe. What a great vibe today, this afternoon. A little bit different to any other All Black announcement I've ever been to. Yeah, I think um, my first time in a fale was last year. Uh, we were at a camp um, in South Auckland, and then so this is only the second time. And Are you getting a feed? Yeah, I'll be getting the feed. <laughs> <laughs> you can go and have a feed. <laughs> right, now, thanks very much, Sam. Once again, congratulations. Let's go to one of your teammates. He's had a great year. Josh Lord with, uh, with Kirsty. Yes, thanks, Jeff. Yes, we've got Josh Lord here, and I don't think my high heels were high enough today because you're about half a metre taller than me. Uh, but how was it hearing your name this time around? The first time, a little bit different circumstances, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a little bit different compared to last year, but oh, it's pretty special, really. And yeah, I'm super privileged and yeah, extremely excited. There's seven newbies in this team. Tell us how they'll be feeling. How were you feeling the first time you heard your name read out? Yeah, they'll be, they'll be pretty excited too. They'll be extremely happy and be, I'm happy for them and happy for them for their family as well. So yeah. Well, let's talk about one newbie then uh, that is part of your Chiefs team. He's been a big part of it for the last couple of seasons. Peter Garcia his name was read out. He is going to be an All Black. What's he like in that environment? Tell us a bit more about him. Oh, I'm super stoked for him. I've been fortunate enough to be with him for the last three years at the NAC and the Chiefs and to see how far he's come up from then to now, it's, it's pretty ph phenomenal. Manu. How do you reckon he's watching that with? Because he would have found out on the live stream, wouldn't he? How do you think he would have reacted? Oh, hopefully, hopefully he's at home with Munzee and his little baby, but he might be around with the boys and he'll be, he'll be, um, he'll be celebrating. He'll be excited, man. Just for you, Josh, now that you've been selected in the squad for another year, what are your goals in this all-black environment? What do you want to achieve personally? I just want to keep learning. Obviously, we've got four other world-class locks, Sammy and Brody, and just going to keep getting better and put my best foot forward, really. Well, you're one of them now. And, and just finally, um, the best thing about being part of this All Blacks team, is it kit day, is it the feast, is it the environment? What is it? Oh, it's, it's everything, I think. It's pretty special. And then, obviously, that opportunity to represent your country and your family, it's pretty special. Well, it's an honour to be with you here today. Josh Lord, thank you so much, and w uh, well done once again. Cheers, thank you very much. Cheers. Josh Lord there uh, from the All Blacks, and we'll go back with Grant Fox, the selector. That's it, mate. That's, that's the last team he'll have to name for the All Blacks. That's the last squad. Oh, the last you squad. Three more you, teams I know you've got three teams yet. to pick, yeah, but yeah. in terms of this, as a, as a moment for you, is it, is it a little bit emotional, or is that emotion once the series against Ireland's done? Oh, no, look, I'm, I'm, I'm not wired that way, really. No, no, I was honest, just testing I mean, the waters to no. see whether or not finally someone got you. Did, no, did someone get you? No, no, no. Because no, no. I mean, you look, think it, about it. It's, I'm just thinking about the guys who got picked. Right, um, not only the new boys, but the guys who got read out again, and also the guys that didn't get read out. I mean, th these sides are hard to pick. It's always yep. unlucky guys. Um, you know, a lot of discussion around this group. Um, but we can't pick everybody. We've had to narrow it down, and, and that's what you've seen today. You've got some strike power, I mean, particularly yep. out wide. Lester Fang and Uncle for you. What, what really impressed the selectors about, you know, his performance throughout Super Rugby? Well, he's out strong here, hasn't he? His form's been good. He's a big man. He's a power winger. Um, got a good work rate, you know, he'll come in and carry in those close channels to take a bit of heat yeah. off the forwards occasionally. You sort of get down the goal line end, the red zone end of the field, and Nestor will put his hand up and come in looking for work. Um, you know, he's, he's a fit man. Um, he's got, you know, he can also play in the midfield, you know, as an option if we really need to go there. So, um, but he's, he's earned selection on four. Talk to Fozzie about the fact that this is a, a squad pick for Ireland. Correct. The fact you're playing in July. Yeah. Have you identified clearly how Ireland do you think are going to play? And are you going to try and counter that? Or how much is it, is it of you tweaking some of the things you did last year? Well, I think we've got to be careful last year that um, because of the results we got in the last two games that all of a sudden there's something massively wrong with our game. There's not. Uh, we did a lot of things well last year, but we've got to tweak a little bit. And that's, that's what we'll be doing. Um, and Ireland is the focus because of, you know... Um, because there's another squad picked after this yep. for the rugby championship, and then there's the end of your tour squad. So there is still room for other guys to come in, subject to injury and subject to form. So very much this is a group for Ireland. A very popular name that was read out is Roger Tui yeah, yeah. Amongst, uh, amongst everyone downstairs. What have you enjoyed in sort of his, his progress? This is, a, this is a massive step for him, but he's, he's been pretty good too on form. 
Yeah, I mean, Roger's um, a good student of the game already. I mean, he came from rugby background years ago, didn't he? So there's a little bit of that in him. But, you know, he's a big, powerful man. He's got great feet. You've just seen it there. Um, he's not afraid of that in that channel, to yeah. go hard at that channel. Um, you know, he def he's a good reader on defence. He reads pretty well. Um, and he's... Uh, but so... You know, he's still a project for us, Roger. Still a project, but we still see a lot of upside. And so he's a guy you sort of need with us to continue his development rather than maybe leave him out and let him go, what does what he play now? Club rugby, which is not much of at the moment. So yeah, Talk about players taking their opportunities, and Roger's been one of those, but Stephen Pettifetta as well. Yeah. Where he's got in the last 12 months, where he was <laughs> last season compared to this season, on the back of a really strong campaign last year for Taranaki. Yeah. He comes in with the Blues. That balance of playing 15 and 10. I see a guy that you've looked at and said, you know what, he was on the radar, but this year, how much better has he been for you? Well, he's been on the radar for a long time, yeah. but he's had some injury problems too, Steve, in the last couple of years, and I think this year what we've seen is, is a belief. He's really started to believe in himself, this part of the game in particular. He's like he's put his hand up wanting to be the goal kicker, when in the past I always thought he's been a reluctant goal kicker, and that's not where you want to be if you're going to kick goals. Um, but he is, he's actually, he's quite, he's a lot quicker than people realise, Stephen. He's good on his feet. He's got a great awareness of space around him and in behind. Uh, and he's formed a great combo with, with Bodie. He can play up and play back. When he's played 10, he's played well, played very well at 15. So, again, he's, he's a guy who's just... We don't have Damien McKenzie available at the moment. So, Stephen, for us, was an obvious choice. And Dan Cole's coming back. Obviously, yeah. his, his experience is absolutely vital. <laughs> How's yeah. his body played club in the weekend? Will he continue to play a little bit more club to get him back into, into that sort of shape? Oh, you'll have to ask Foz. He's, he's more across that than me. But, I mean, Coles is the ultimate competitor, isn't he? Um, and yes, we know he's had some, you know, uh, issues with the body trying to stay whole. But and we don't expect Colsey to play 80 minutes every game, yeah. of course. So we're trying to manage. But he's great in the group. He's a senior leader, um, and he's a competitor. And we, we just know the energy he'll bring to the group and the leadership he'll demand of, of the group. So um, you know, I think Colsey's still got a bit to play for. You know, a little bit to contribute for us yet. Well, Foxy, I hope this isn't the last time you hear from it. It's probably not. We're going to tap you on the shoulder at some point. But thanks for your passion, as always. And I know over the next month and a half, while this tour, uh, this, tour this island tour is going on, you've got more work to do. But thanks for all the great work you've done. No problem, guys. All right, let's go back to Kirsty standing by with Samasoni Takiaho. Thanks so much, Jeff. Samasoni Takiaho. Congratulations. Does it ever get old hearing your name in that all-black squad? Um, thank you very much. Uh, no, it never gets old. To, it's like a real emotional roller coaster building into it, it gets quite nervous and uh no, I was really excited, really excited to be named today and I uh, just can't wait to get into camp and uh, start preparing for the Irish. Let's talk about a couple of debutants because they've come out of your Chiefs side. Uh, Aiden Ross for one. How good is it for Aiden? How do you think he'll be feeling right now? Uh, he'll be really happy. Um, I'm just so so I'm stoked for him and his family. I'm sure he'll be uh, really proud and um, yeah, just can't wait to get back and uh, give him and Peter Gus a big hug and say congratulations. So, yeah, happy for them. For you uh, personally, what motivates you? What drives you and inspires you at this next level, test level? Oh, I just like, I just like to compete. Um, it's always a, it's always an honour to wear the black jersey. And um, every time I, I get to put it on, I just go out there and give it everything and um, hope, hopefully do, do the jersey proud. So that's it. What are your goals and ambitions in the black jersey this year? Oh, I just want to go out there and learn. Um, learn from Cozy, Cody, um, soak up their knowledge and uh, put my best foot forward and see what happens. Yeah. What's it like coming into the All Blacks environment? Because I tell you what, it was pretty nerve-wracking standing up here when uh, the three wise men were staring at me. What's it like? Um, no, nah, they're really good. Um, really welcoming environment. And uh, just here, yeah, like I said, I can't wait to get into camp and... Uh, Get start, start working and get preparing for Ireland, so it's really exciting. Well, I hope before you get out of here, you get to get stuck into that food. Yeah, it looks really good, so yeah, I'll get, get into it. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I can't wait for you to get down and hug those Chiefs boys as well. Thank you very much. Cheers. Samasoni Takiaho. We'll head back to the panel now with Ronnie Clark. Thanks, Kirsty. Well, congratulations are in order. It's your shout, right? When you get when your son gets in the All Blacks, I must I think be... it's his grandfather. His grandfather's his oh, papa. Grandfather. Too, so maybe it's his papa. What a proud moment! But not just for obviously Caleb getting named in the All Blacks once again, but but what's happened here today? It, it seems as though there's just there's a real connection to the Pacifica uh, culture, and, and and this has been a great representation of that. Absolutely, Goldie. You know, if you think about the contribution of Pacific to All Black rugby, the history, and even to yeah. Black Ferns as well. It's a nice way since I, you know, we've got the Solomon brothers we've got 
Sir Brian, Sir Tua Fasina, Sir Brian. And then following on from there, when you think about it, you know, the contribution has been massive. So it's a lovely way that the, the All Blacks have begun to look back and yep. see, realise that this is a great acknowledgement of our Pacific contribution. So, yeah. Have you managed to, uh, to, to ring Caleb and, and see how, how he is? Have you spoken to him? No, not all? yet. I spoke to him yesterday and just to see how, how you're feeling. How, what, what you think is, I have no idea, Dan. I'm sitting on the edge of the seat, so he's no. I'm, so he would have been absolutely relieved to hear that too. Now he can, I think, we really now get on the focus to try and get healthy for the weekend. Uh, could you remember when you got named and, and, you, and, you, and the, the feeling and the sense and as the names are getting read out and the, and the fact there was a reaction, the likes of a Roger to a Vasa mm, I, yes. I think there's a real energy in, in, around this and the fact Ireland are coming. You know, I know how the challenge that's what challenge that's going to be. I mean, this is this could be a special team. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is uh, you know when you when you think about again that you speak of the contribution. I you talk about what, what, when, when I got named. I mean, those are wonderful times. And you think about then in terms of the, the family. Because with Pacific, when one is lifted, we're all lifted. And I think that's the really thing about it. So it's not just the individual that's coming to the team. The whole family, the whole whanau are coming to the team because that's how we do. That's how supporters. And, um, and so no doubt, if that enriches the, the All Blacks environment, that's so, so much strength of that band. That is very strong, isn't yeah. it, Your Honor? The, the fact that, I think mean, we went through the names and there's 22 players of the 36 from you know, Pacifica background. But how inspiring is that when you see the youngsters here that, you know, they see that to one day inspire to become All Blacks themselves? Absolutely. I mean, as I said, Sue Bryan was our inspiration as kids growing up. And so it continues on. The interesting thing my mother said to me that when I made the All Blacks, she said every brown face, every Pacific can flick up their collar and say, that's a brother. And if we could inspire more of our yeah. Pacific, but all Kiwis as well, to live that dream, I mean, that's, that's how important and how strong that role modelling is in our Pacific communities. I've got to ask you as well, though, the fact there's a significant influence of the Blues in this team, in this team and yeah. in this group. Mm -hmm. The fact, how much do you think maybe that adds a different energy, a different attention, I suppose, a different belief and support into this group, into this All Black team? Yeah, I mean, that's obviously that's a that's Well, because you're passionate about it. You're, you're, I mean, you, you see it through and through. I can but, go all of a sudden, yeah. but, but all of a sudden, success breeds success, right? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. And that's what I think that's, but I think the other thing too is that now that they are also to add to the narrative, add to the journey, add to the, 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 the success of the All Blacks, now these new young players, they get to do that as well. And so that's the, the dream that they've wanted to live for for a long time. So no doubt being with the Blues and no doubt with all the other super teams as they come on board, now they're with the All Blacks. And so they get this opportunity to add to the narrative and the journey of All Black rugby in history. Hey, bro. Oh, man. How good. Are you pumped? Uh, what, are, what, are you going, what are you going for down there? <laughs> Sapasui? Sapasui, bro. Kalo, the, 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 the Kali and, and the Fatli Fukali was and really and good. Nice, nice. Oh. Look, I don't want to keep you any longer, Arani. This has been a fantastic moment. Congratulations once again. Mills, as always, an absolute pleasure. It's been fantastic to be here. What's coming up? We know it is not, it's not too far away. Just around the corner, it is Ireland taking on the All Blacks, a three-test match series. We cannot wait. Let's check out what it looks like coming up.